Uh, Robert Neely here again. And uh, this time I want to speak about, introduce you to a woman called Jane, Jan Fennell. She's regarded as sometimes called the, the dog listener and sometimes the woman who listens to dogs. But um, Jane said that she was intrigued by what Monty Roberts was doing with horses. And she was interested to wonder about how she might translate that into dealing with problems that dogs have. Well, Monty, as I mentioned in the last uh, conversation, Monty Roberts looked at wild horses. So Jane Fennell decided that she was going to look at wild dogs. She was going to look at wolves. And what she observed in getting to know wolf pack behavior, she noticed that the pack was organized by a, an alpha pair. There's an alpha male and an alpha female. And the alpha male and female were the ones who decided when they were gonna go on a hunt, they got the first, uh, first uh, sitting, were eat, eating a, a kill. And they were the ones who were responsible for the, for the reproduction of, of uh, the pack, keeping babies coming into the pack. So Jane was, was interested to notice that, that wolves were organized around an alpha pair. And she made a rather fascinating <clears throat> extension of that. And she said that when um, a dog comes to live with a family, uh, <clears throat> they, a dog, takes up the position of being an alpha and takes responsibility for the whole pack, including the, the parents, the children, whatever. And as if that it's her responsibility, his, his or her responsibility to take care of the family because the dog is treated as a special creature and, you know, pampered and uh, da, 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 da. And that puts the dog in this awkward position of being the alpha. And Jane says that's an awful burden for, a, for a, 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 a dog to have. And when, the, as the alpha, when the children, when her children, her the rest of the pack go out of the go out of the house and leave her to them, she worries about how they are, because that's her job. So she claims that the the way to help dogs with their problems is to make sure that they are de alphaed so that, that the, the owners of the house of the dog get to be the alpha. So then the dog can just be one of the pack and relax and just become a dog. So Jane had a, a series of very entertaining television sessions. And um, in these episodes of her working with problem dogs, she, she had a way of uh, interacting with the dogs and the owners so that the dog could just be a dog and didn't have to be an alpha. And in one, in one situation, the, this dog would wee on the carpet every time the dog saw someone in uniform and the problem was that the owner was a policeman. So you can see that uh, uh, that was not going to be a good combination. So Jane comes along and she had a most marvelous saying. She said, don't make something out of nothing. Something happens and you don't have to make something up about that. Don't have to make it important. You can ignore it. And what she did was that she got the, for this dog that weighed when he saw uh, the policeman's uniform, he got the, the man to be sitting there in his uniform and brought, someone else would bring the dog into the room. 
And as soon as the dog started to show signs of anxiety, they would take the dog out of the room. They wouldn't ch chide it, they wouldn't criticize it, they wouldn't discipline it, they'd just remove it. And so after a while, the dog realized that the, the police uniform could stay there and the dog could come and go, and that was just fine. And within a very short time, maybe 15 or 30 minutes, I can't remember, the dog was able to just come and sit down and just be a dog and not, not get frightened of the, of the police uniform. It was really extraordinary. And um, there was another situation where a dog would destroy doors and it had destroyed I don't know how many doors. And the, the door destruction happened when the owner uh, closed the door and left the dog on one side. And Jane was with her theory, said that the dog separated from the, the, tri the, the pack started to worry and did everything that, that it could to get back to the pack and take care of it, including destroying doors. So in the same kind of way, Jane uh, encouraged the owners to not make a fuss of this, to not make a, a problem out of it, and to uh, close the door. And as soon as the dog started to show any kind of um, uh, anxiety or tendency to destroy the door, they would remove the dog from the door. And after a while, the dog started to realize, oh, I don't need to do that. And it could just settle into being a dog. Now, what I was totally, in, apart from being, being amused, I mean, she was a very entertaining woman, the way she went up and down the, the, the lengths of the United Kingdom, from Scotland down to, down to the south of England, with, she, she would go, arrive and a, a dog would have a problem, and within half an hour or an hour, it would be completely resolved. So it was amusing to, to watch the way that she played with this, but it was also very instructive to see how, how if we don't make something out of nothing, then it can be nothing and uh, the whole situation can uh, just dissolve. So how often do we as human beings, we have something happen and instead of saying, oh, that happened, we make something of it. And clients come and they say, this happened, and oh, no, 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 it's got a problem from it. And with that idea of not making something out of nothing, making nothing out of nothing, just letting something be, I mean, we kind of know that in, in some way. But the, the approach that Jane Fennell demonstrated again and again and again uh, uh, somehow gives a form to and, and informs what we can do. And again, the, all of her inter interactions were based on an observation of how wolves behave. She didn't focus on the human but focused on what would be helpful for the dog so that it could just be a dog. And in the same way that Monty Roberts <coughs> excuse me, found out a way of helping horses to be horses, they didn't need to be controlled or manipulated or tamed or controlled or broken in. But by observing and responding, he was able to get good results and Jane Fennell did the same kind of uh, approach with dogs. So if you're interested to um, find out more about her, you can, th this, this was a DVD that we bought um, and it uh, sits on our shelves and we look at it every now and again. It's really quite, quite inspiring as well as being entertaining. So thank you for being willing to listen and uh, see what, what can happen when you play with this idea of making nothing out of nothing instead of making something out of nothing. And also to observe that where this person comes from, their family, the way they behave, 
in 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 the wild, so to speak, and that somehow it leads back to the anthropological uh, framework. So thanks for listening, and I'd be curious to hear about anything that you were able to try, and as a result of this, that could be useful for you. Thanks so much.